Hey guys, it's Dustin, and it's been rumored for a while now, but we now know all the changes to the Platinum card. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at these changes, the good, the bad, the ugly, and really see if the changes to the Platinum card make it a keeper card. And the Platinum card has always been about the benefits, and during 2020, we saw American Express offer customer-friendly credits, like cell phone payments, PayPal credits, and some others, so did they stick with these more customer friendly benefits or did they go back to the standard American Express way? So let's take a look at these changes. Now the first thing we wanna take a look at is the annual fee increase. And the Platinum card has already been pretty high at 550 bucks, but American Express decided to raise this yet another $145 to $695 a year. This makes the Platinum card 20% more expensive than the Chase Sapphire Reserve and 40% more expensive than the City Prestige before accounting for those credits, really making it the most expensive premium credit card in this tier of credit cards. But American Express is adding some new benefits to this card to try to help offset the fee increase. Now there is no doubt about this, this is gonna make some people pretty upset with the cost and cancel the card when their annual fee is due. And other people will feel the benefits add enough to justify paying that higher annual fee. Then we also see the bonus updated on the Platinum Card and on American Express's website, it's currently offering 100,000 points up front after spending $6,000 in the first six months. But over on Resi, they actually have a 125,000 point offer with the same $6,000 spent in a six month requirement. So I would definitely go for that offer if you're eligible for this bonus. Then it's also offering 10X on dining and shop small in the US for up to $25,000 spend in the first six months. Now, I did prefer the gas and grocery multiplier at 10X instead of this one because it was more practical for people. And this 100,000 point bonus even includes the Schwab Platinum. So if you've been thinking about it, that may be a time to get the Schwab Platinum even with the rumored devaluations coming. Now this is still a very strong bonus and 100,000 membership reward points is a great offer. The minimum spend requirement did go up slightly but not enough to make it unreachable. And while you can earn up to a quarter million points for those 10X categories, I don't think many people are actually gonna reach that level of points earned from this offer. Now if you're enjoying this video, then give this video a like, maybe even leave a comment because these are free and easy ways to help support the channel then American Express has also added a new $200 hotel credit to the Platinum Card, but this does come with some restrictions. This cannot be used at any hotel, either booking directly with the hotel or even booking any hotel through the American Express travel portal. In order to use this hotel credit, it has to be a prepaid hotel that is part of the fine hotel and resort or the hotel collection. So for the people who are looking to use this $200 credit only and maybe get a night or two away and save some money, this could definitely be a challenge for you because finding a hotel that is $200 or less that is part of these collections, it can be quite the challenge. It can be done, it's just going to be difficult to find those properties. Now, if you're someone who does not book hotels through the travel portal regularly, then you may feel you have to now in order to get value from this credit and it's gonna be hard to find a hotel room to hit $200 on the nose. So this just leads you to potentially spending more money just to use this credit. Now, if you're someone who uses these hotel programs already, this is nice for you and there's no doubt about it. The other issue booking hotels this way is the fact that these hotel programs are considered an OTA. So you're not gonna earn any points for your hotel stay and hotels do not have to give you your status benefits if you book your hotel stays through the American Express travel portal. So if status benefits are something that are important to you, then booking a hotel this way becomes less appealing. But I do think limiting the options to the fine hotel resorts or the hotel collection is quite restrictive and it really reduces the options people have to use this credit for hotel stays that would work best for them. Then we have the Equinox credit, and this just might be my least favorite benefit added since this is actually gonna be useful for very few people. Because the number of people who use Equinox is very small, coming in around 350,000 total members, and this number was from late 2020. And for perspective, Peloton at the end of quarter four in 2020 had 3.1 million members, Gold's Gym has over three million members, and Planet Fitness has over 15 and a half million members. 
And I would have to imagine not all Equinox members have an American Express Platinum card. But American Express is adding a $300 yearly Equinox membership for Platinum card holders. But you didn't think you'd get the full $300 all at once, did you? Because you're going to get a $25 per month credit and you do need to enroll in this benefit in order to use it. And at looking at the Equinox's website, the prices do vary depending on which club you're using and if you want to use just one club or access multiple clubs. But the cost is somewhere around $200 per month. It could be more or less depending on your location. And if you wanted to use their Equinox Plus Fitness app, this is going to run you $40 per month. So the credit doesn't even cover a full month's cost of the app. You would still need to pay $15 per month. So this credit basically gives you a small discount each month, pretty much like a coupon. And I think this credit is going to be useless for most people. There will be people who use Equinox and like it and get value from it. And if that's you, great. But I think you're in the minority here because not everyone lives in an area where a physical Equinox facility is accessible to them. And the app is on the more costly side when it comes to fitness apps. So this is one of those credits that looks good on paper, but for most people, this is going to be a useless credit that provides them absolutely no value. Then we see American Express add a clear membership credit for the Platinum Card, and you'll be able to get up to $179 in statement credits per calendar year. Now, while $179 sounds great for credit value, if you're a Delta or United member, you can get this for $119 a year or even lower. So this does not offer $179 in value even if you decided to use this credit. And if you're someone who has top tier status with Delta or United, you may already have yourself a free clear membership. But it does look like that you can use this credit up to the full amount. So if you bought a membership for yourself and still had credit remaining, you could use the remaining credit for someone else. There does not look to be anything in the terms and conditions saying otherwise, at least that I can see. Now, I think having this benefit can be good if you're someone who lives in a location where Clear is located, but Clear is still not widely accessible, so once again, this is benefiting a smaller number of people. Then we have changes to Centurion Lounge access. Now, this change does not go into effect until February of 2023, but when it does, to get access to the Centurion Lounges, you either need to be a cardholder or an authorized user you're no longer going to receive complimentary guest access unless you were to spend $75,000 on your Platinum card. And if you want to bring a guest with you that's not an authorized user, it's going to cost you $50 each time you want to bring a guest with you. So depending on how much you travel with a guest and you visit Centurion Lounges together, adding an authorized user for $175 could be a good option for you if you fit that criteria but now you're talking almost $900 for the Platinum Card. But to not even receive a couple of guest passes each year, it definitely stings, especially at the cost of this card. Then we have the Entertainment Credit, which is gonna be good for up to $240 per year, and you can receive up to $20 per month in credits. And again, this is quite restrictive, because this is not gonna be eligible on all entertainment purchases. It's gonna be limited to Peacock, Audible, SiriusXM, and the New York Times. That is it. And you can use this credit at one or more of these places, and you do need to enroll in this benefit in order to receive it. But the list of eligible options, it's just pathetic. I really don't know how else to put it. There are other services people use for news and streaming of audio or video, but you're left with just these four options. I mean, if you use one of these services, then again, this does benefit you but there are a lot of other options people use that are not gonna qualify them for this entertainment credit. Now, I think these changes are overall net negative and it further pushes the Platinum Card as more of a coupon book style credit card. And I think there's gonna be a lot of breakage when it comes to these credits and I really believe that's something American Express really wants. They gave away a lot of points and credits during 2020. And while I can appreciate that, they didn't do it because they wanted to. They did it because they felt they had to, to keep customers paying those high annual fees on these premium cards. Because the Platinum Card is a terrible card to use for actual spending on the day to day. So if they didn't add some sort of useful benefits for people, people would have canceled their Platinum Cards even sooner. So this very well could be their way of trying to recoup some of their cost of doing this. And the real winner from this American Express Platinum update 
is the Chase Sapphire Reserve. And with moves like this, Chase does not need to improve the Chase Sapphire Reserve even if people believe it needs to happen. And I've said for a while now that for many people, the Platinum card just doesn't make sense after year one. For some people, I recognize it does make sense, but there are people who want to feel they're part of this not so exclusive club of having a metal platinum card. But there are people who are going to get this card and keep it even if the numbers don't work out in their favor. And I know the numbers may look flashy on paper, but the Equinox credit, it's trash. The entertainment credit is really restrictive and I think disappointing. The hotel credit is extremely limited as well. So is the platinum card worth 700 bucks? No, no it's not worth 700 bucks. The benefits added, I don't feel add enough value to justify that kind of cost. This is a card you get for the bonus, then get rid of it once the annual fee hits in year two. So let me know, what do you think of the platinum card and if it's worth 700 bucks? Now if you're someone looking to use your American Express points, then be sure to check out this video right here, where I tell you some of the best ways to use your membership reward points. And if you know someone who would find this video useful and helpful, feel free to share it with them, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.